is a video I was supposed to do three, four months ago. Hey guys! So basically what's happened is I was watching the Gabby show yesterday and she did a review on the LipSense product. I was actually sent this product a couple of months back by a friend and I didn't review it. I think it was actually around Halloween time, which was like ages ago. But anyway, I was like working on other videos. And yeah, so I didn't end up doing the review of this product, but uh, I was watching the Gabby show yesterday, as I said, and she'd done it. And I just thought maybe I still have just lying around to see whether if I do the review, you know, I'll get the same result. This is a product that's supposed to last ages, like through anything, like, you know that picture of that woman who had a car accident she reviewed the Kat Von D eyeliner the tattoo liner and it stayed on through her car accident <laughs> um, so this is supposed to be that kind of product that literally stays on for the rest of your life unless you have the oops remover product funny story about that um, my sister smashed it let me smash so if I die with this lipstick on you can blame her um, <laughs> So yeah, I'm just going to be trying out the product. I'll just read you something about the product from the website. Just so you know, this isn't a sponsored video. I'm literally just doing it because, you know, somebody sent me the product and I just wanted to see whether it works. Okay, so the company's called Synergence International. I think that's how you say it. Synergence, Synergence. Synesense, Synesense, so they do a lip liner, the lip sense, it's like a liquid lipstick, the one that's the main product that's supposed to stay on forever. A gloss, which I have here, it says moisturising gloss. They do a balm, and they've got the oops remover in case you like get it around your lips, but obviously I don't have that, so getting off at the end of the day is going to be a task. I was thinking, because I don't have the oops remover, um, I might just try and make something myself at home. It's, it's probably a don't try this at home kind of video um, <laughs> and I was thinking of making it into a kind of off my face challenge where you've got makeup on that's supposed to last all night like an all nighter product and you just want to get it off your face whilst you are off your face drunk and sometimes it doesn't work out very well and you end up with it on your pillow or just the next day it's all over the place on your face and you still can't get it off but it's smudged and it's just a mess so I was thinking of doing like an off my face challenge series. Let me know if you want me to try that. It's basically just going to be me trying products that's supposed to last. Trying to get them off at the end of the day, either exhausted or drunk. So this would obviously be the first one because this one's supposed to last forever. And I don't have the remover. So we're going to see whether I can get it off with normal products. So I'm just going to apply it now and then I'll check in at the end of the day. And then at the end, I'll just do a final thoughts on the product and how I got it off without the use remover. I just want to highlight that it's been silent for hours and now as soon as I want to try and film, everyone and their mum is outside cleaning the streets and doing building work and shit. Classic. All right, so it's Lip Sense, um, long lasting liquid lip color. Directions apply in one direction and you look outside corner of the mouth. Apply three layers, allowing three to five seconds to dry. Keep away from heat and flame. Um, I don't even know if this is flammable. I don't want to know that. So it's blue red. That's the one that I have. Anyways, so you're supposed to exfoliate your lips. So I'm just going to use the Mint Dew Lips Lip Scrub from Lush. Obviously you're supposed to exfoliate your lips because it's going to be drying. It's going to be harsh on the lips. If it's like a long lasting product, you know, it's going to be matte. And I'm actually going to go over with some Pixie Glow Tonic as well. It's like a chemical exfoliant. I'm not sure if you're supposed to use it on your lips, but I've got quite uh, liney lips, dry lips there's some like scar tissue on there so I have to use quite hydrating products usually yeah I'm gonna use some glue tonic and see if that helps so here's what it looks like in case you wanted to see I literally just bought it from Carnaby Street the other day hopefully that will help even out the texture of my lips as well I'm gonna moisturize a little bit with some lip balm I'm really doing all this these prep steps to just give the product a chance to do what it's supposed to do um, otherwise you know it's gonna just gonna grip to all of the 
to skin stuff, um, which is true of most lip products, but of course, if it's a really long lasting one, as I said, it's gonna be drying, it's gonna be just really harsh on your lips. So if you are somebody who's gonna benefit from such a long lasting lipstick, it's worth it to put in the extra steps at the beginning to just make it worth your while. As someone who doesn't really use um, drying products, like I said, I've got problematic lips. I don't know whether I would use this product personally, but obviously everyone's different. That's why I'm doing this review. And yeah, I might actually turn out to really like it because obviously it's annoying to like, keep having to reapply your lipstick throughout the day and it would be convenient if it just stayed on. Simple doe foot applicator. It smells like, this is gonna sound weird, but it smells like PVA glue. Obviously I don't go around sniffing glue, but. <laughs> Yeah, Gabby was right, it smells like vodka. But they've kind of tried to get rid of the scent with something floral, I think. I should probably stop smelling this now. Literally, it smells like a magic marker or a Sharpie or something. It feels like I'm putting surgical spirit on my lips. I'm gonna try and be really careful with this and not talk, because I obviously don't have the oops. You've gotta work fast with it, because the scent has dried down, it's gone all sticky, and then when I went over it, over here to put on this side, it kind of dragged and it does look a bit patchy, but, oh, oh, oh God, it tastes gross. <coughs> okay, definitely leave your mouth open. Somebody said to me, leave your mouth open while it dries because it does stick, your, like your lips will stick together. It does say put on a few layers. It's very watery feeling. It definitely feels drying and it is, my lips are definitely sticking together. Oh god, it feels so weird. Especially in the corners of your mouth because you can't really like affect whether they go together. I feel like I have vodka in my system. Like just from like licking my lips briefly. It's like, you know when you use like surgical spirit or you use like nail varnish remover or whatever and you can smell it and it feels like the fumes are affecting you. Oh, and I just moved my lips to say what? What? And I can feel it settling in the lines. Can you see? because it hasn't dried properly yet. It just kind of sticks the liney bits in your lips together. I'm gonna put on another layer again. It says allow three to five minutes in between, but I ain't really got time for that. Okay, the second layer kind of burns. This is the third layer, I can't even tell anymore. I'm gonna try and stay still like a lip commercial. Oh God. I definitely feel like when Gabby was like, her lips are sticking together and she was like, like sucking her saliva back in because she couldn't close her mouth. That's definitely accurate. Can you see that? I'll try and get the inside of my mouth there to see whether the long lastingness of this product eliminates the butthole lips problem. You know when you have like a ring of lip where you don't have lipstick on. I feel like this didn't last so long though because like I used so many layers to like fix where it settled into my lips just for me making normal lip ah sh like this doing normal lip things like movements it's like is this gonna last you very long if you're if you're gonna have to keep going back in because you can't avoid your lips sticking together this color with the green eyeshadow though i'm living for it oh god yeah how long is this gonna take oh yeah you see it's all congealing on the inside it's not it's not drying very well. It literally feels like, sorry, let me just come back a little bit. It feels like, you know when everyone was doing that in versions of the charcoal mask where they would get PVA glue and mix it with activated charcoal, like crushed up. It feels like someone has done that, but with a lip product, they've just got PVA glue or adhesive or something industrial and added pigment to it. And that's what it feels like and what it smells like, to be honest. Yeah, it's taken quite a while to dry. I'm generally scared to try and get this off my lips later. Like. This was a dumb idea, guys. Don't try this at home if you don't have the oops remover. I just realized that we didn't put on the gloss. I think it's sort of dry now. It still feels like glue, it's still sticking my lips together. But I'm gonna chuck on the gloss as well. Gloss may be worn alone or, I can't even speak, see? Blah, blah, blah. Blah. Gloss may be worn alone or applied after lip stains to improve the longevity of a long lasting lip color. That's strange, because it's supposed to be a moisturizing gloss but it's supposed to help with the longevity of the product, so I don't know. Let's put the gloss on, see what happens. It doesn't smell weird. It smells kind of like the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which is weird and really specific. It's a nice gloss, it glides on really well. 
it feels like it's gonna stay put, but like it's not watery, but it's not too oily where it's gonna just like go everywhere. At the end of the day, it is a gloss, so at least that's what it feels like. But it's nice, it's, it's, it feels like a serum-y kind of gloss. And it's really helping with the sticking issue. The gloss, I'm loving. I think it looks really good. The gloss does come off like a normal gloss would. Right, so, okay, the lip sense is $25. You can mix shades, apparently. It's waterproof. It doesn't rub off, smear off, or budge off. It doesn't dry out the lips. They might not dry out the lips, but it does feel like it's gonna settle in my lines. It is. It does feel like glue on the lips. And it says st something about moisture content and restorative properties. I don't think that that's true. It smells like it's got a lot of alcohol in it. it it's not gonna be restorative. Color lasts anywhere between four and 18 hours. So I'm gonna wear this throughout the whole day and check back in with you after. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna be merry. And yeah, I'll let you guys know how it's wearing. At the moment, it's settling into my lines in my lips. If I go like this, you can see. The color doesn't come off, at the moment the gloss does. So I'll let you know later on how it's wearing. Hey guys, so it's been about three to four hours and I've had a drink, I've had something to eat, went outside voting day today so I went outside to go down to the polling station yeah and the lipstick is still on it's come off a little bit in the middle and around the edges I'm just gonna zoom in and show you like how it's worn and stuff so I don't know if you can see but like all when I smile it's kind of flaked off a little bit you know where the grooves of my lips are it's looking very flaky it's feeling kind of dry it's not feeling like super dry on my actual lips, but the product itself feels like it's sitting on top of the lips. Sometimes you like to have a product that you can't really feel it's there. Um, this is not a product like that. You can definitely feel it's on the lips because you have to do a few layers, but overall, you know, you rub it, it doesn't move. It's how you would expect it to feel really. It's kind of like a rubbery texture. It is still kind of sticky, so if you're doing kissing, if you're, well I kissed my cat earlier and I got a bunch of fur stuck to my lips, so that wasn't fun. <laughs> um, you can probably see that I've got crumbs stuck to my lips. It's just not a great look if you're like planning on doing a lot of eating if you've got like crumbs and stuff stuck to your lips but it has stayed on and I guess if you're being really careful you could just brush it off your lips because at the end of the day if you do this it's not going to come off it's not like stick my lips aren't sticking together as you can see anymore now that it's completely dried down so it's lasted really well throughout the hours that I've been wearing it it has come off a little bit on the side getting a bit of like butthole lips you know <laughs> yeah but it has stayed on it does do what it claims to do the gloss came off as well um, which was expected one thing that I will say is that I was having my lunch and it when you lick your lips it does taste like poison like straight out it just tastes like poison it tastes like you know um, that stuff that stops you from biting your nails that, that bitter taste that is supposed to prevent you from eating stuff that's what it tastes like so it's kind of off-putting obviously if you're eating throughout the day but it does stay on and for an event where you don't want to continuously be reapplying your lipstick I think it would be a very great idea and if the taste doesn't bother you and if you're I don't know I guess in like harsh weather conditions and whatever your lips won't get stuck to your hair you just won't have to reapply it in the rain or in anything so now I'm gonna try a few different techniques to like get get it off and see what budges it and what doesn't because I don't have the oops remover wish me luck okay guys so I'm gonna try and home remedy getting this off technically it shouldn't come off with a normal remover because their removal will be tailored to their formula the main ingredient in the remover is of course alcohol uh, so worst comes to worst I can always use some surgical spirit hopefully it doesn't have to come to that but don't try at home all of that nonsense so we're going to start with my normal cleanser which is the ultra blend okay so it's kind of flaking off but i think that's basically to do with the fact that my skin's flaking off underneath it's working quite easily that's quite disappointing actually i was expecting much more of a challenge um i'm going to try now with some micellar water just to see whether such a gentle cleanser is going to do anything so again it's just flaking the product off i think it's just rubbing it off to be honest 
actually you can kind of see that the color is bleeding onto the cotton round so maybe it is breaking down the product which is a little bit disappointing because obviously it says that it's not supposed to come off without the remover from the little product that we have left i could probably remove it with the products that we've just used but i just want to see whether other stuff works so we're gonna try spirit see whether that completely obliterates me to be honest oh wow okay the surgical spirit just completely wipes it off it is very harsh on my lips though as you can see oh it kind of stings oh that stings okay i'm gonna stop using that oh my god it feels so so dry now my lips are burning so i'm gonna use some bio oil that seems to be working too in a much gentler way either that's leftover lipstick and skin or my lip is literally bleeding right now so i don't know how much my camera cut off but i just put on some clinique take the day off balm and it's still gripping to my scar tissue here i've always had like scar tissue around here where lipstick grips to wine red wine grips to it so i'm just gonna add some lip scrub okay i think that's about as far as we're gonna get with the removal process as you can see that scar tissue there is not going anywhere i always have loose skin there that's not coming off as someone with this kind of problem with normal lipsticks like normal matte lipsticks they always stick to that bit as someone with that kind of problem i wouldn't suggest this product obviously if you use a remover it's not the same story but i feel like it would be because either way it's gonna be really harsh on your lip skin and either way you're gonna look with a stain in the areas where you do have scar tissue or dead skin that you usually can't get rid of so if you have that same problem as me then i would avoid the product if you want a long lasting product i'd go with the lip stain honestly with these products i feel like you really can't use them on a regular basis otherwise you're just gonna end up with no lips left and that's all for today you guys that was my review on lip sense final thoughts is not to use it if you've got scar tissue like me as you can see it's stained my lip here but it's a great product for events and stuff like that where you don't want to be reapplying your lipstick um, i'm sure if you have the correct remover which i didn't it would be a fabulous product for that i don't know whether i would recommend it on a regular basis they were correct on the website to say that it's not drying but it does really grip onto your dead skin and it does require a lot of exfoliation as to where your lips are going to end up completely shattered if you use it every day obviously live your own life decide what's good for you um comment below if you have any specific queries about the product let me know if you want this to be a series as i said earlier the off my face challenge so yeah um like and subscribe if you enjoyed this check out my instagram my twitter and my facebook page i'll link them all below and i'll see you in the next one